Hey guys, Skipper here, and yes, I am bringing you part something. I will check when I finish recording of my Dwarves of Erebor campaign. Yes, finally. <laughs> um, this is, well, watch my channel updates for reasons I haven't been filming, but uh, I haven't played this in a while. Um, so. Over the weekend, I'm going to do another episode on this. Probably going to do an episode on... What's it called? Oh, yes, Darth Mod, my Knights of England campaign. And I might start a Crusades campaign. And maybe some, um... Rome Total War. Anyway, last episode, I started marching my... Little, well, large Where army led by King Bofa towards this orc wooden castle. Who I'm a ward, naturally. Death to the orcs. Anyway, sorry about not having my epic intro. Right, okay. His Gimli's army, uh, like I usually do. Unfortunately, um, apparently in the United States of America, who are generally the largest. Um, Population who watch my videos, according to my statistics, very closely followed by UK, despite the huge population difference, um, is banned. <laughs> the my intro song, uh, Misty Mountain, is banned in the US. I don't know if it's because they don't like the dwarfs or. Anyway, so I'm. I'll make a different intro or something to that. But for now, just, you know, you can live without it. Got some poker. Anyway, so I left this on an end turn. It's turn 42, that's be turn 43. And let's see what's happening. Silver Elves marching to battle. I'll press. Remember, I still haven't got my gaming PC. Specs in channel description should be epic. Gimli goes to battle against an outnumbering force, but he's Gimli. So, bear in mind, they've got 2,822, I've only got 735, so they've got, you know, odds 3 to 1. I should be somewhere down here, but because he's Gimli, I've gone up here. So let's fight this Shah. Starting a nice battle. Gimli's probably going to die, but yeah, so what? I mean, obviously, it'd be terrible if Gimli does, because he's our main character. Um, well, he's one of the main characters in this epic story, because he's expand been expanding from the West, which was, you know, not really meant to happen from what I started with. It was meant to be from the East, where I failed. Finally, I'm moving out the East once more, but Gimli has been brilliant, I tell you. Anyway, start deployment. I think I'm going to get all my men on this hill. Let's go form a huge line. Hold off against the orcs. Not very strategic. In fact, it's terrible strategy. But, um, it should limit my opponents to pretty much running in and attacking me. That's a stupid AI anyway. But as you can see I've got a lot of depleted units from my other battles. I haven't fully replenished them. Anywho, let's see. My enemy, Orcs of Gundabad. I don't know if I want more like Goblins or Snarga. And these are like, ah, yeah, they're the big um, Orc Pikemen. I got way too many Goblins, I think. Luckily, no Urukai, that would be a pain to take out. 
Well, it started raining. It might have been raining already, but it wasn't concentrating. And is this a general? I don't know. It's a warg thing. Yeah, it's a general. Okay, I'm gonna move my men forward a bit. That way. Basic double line. And on top of the hill. All right, just let them march into position. Let's see what my enemy is doing. And yeah, I'm not using the custom music like I promised in this episode because, like I say, I'm still catching up on everything. <laughs> I've had one hell of a time these past few weeks. Sick twice. Um, regimental issues, and then I've been busy on Persistent World. So. I don't think they've got many skirmishes, so... I'd win the skirmish battle had there been one. But there's not going to be one. There we go, they finally decide to move. Into position. It's already moving. Give me there with his epic axe. Spread these out a bit more. Just to get them a bit nearer to my infantry. So if they start to break through, they can support. And also, so that I've got further range from well until they get close. This unit's you know, really depleted. They clearly got attacked somehow. But um, you know, they live to fight another day. Most of them. out of it. Well, it's not straight, it's going slightly that way. But they were sticking out of it before. Yeah, this is probably the worst tactic you can do on Total War, but the AI is stupid. I mean, they're not in Darth Maul, they're a lot more clever, but um, yeah, it's, it's the best I can do. Charge! Goblin band. Told you they were goblins. My axe is coming over. Got my men holding. Charge! Oh, this is just epic. Well, I'm holding. Although the battle's just started. What I mean to say is I held against their huge charge, which usually makes some units rout. But these are 
elite heavy infantry, so they're not going to route too easily. Let's see what their general's doing. He's just standing there. Okay. He's not close enough to, you know, help with morale much. So he's probably going to charge. Either that or he's being wasted. In the sense that he's not doing much. See this fight here? See the banner. Banner guy. Owning people with little axe. Victory is a certainty, they say. Ah, it's over here that they want defeat. Ah, oh, oh, they don't want defeat. Let's hope Jimmy can inspire them. Ghibli is facing a hell of a lot. Well, if I win this, then, um, you know, these guys are brilliant. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I ran out of moves. I didn't expect there to be a huge army right there on my doorstep. Oh, well. Luckily, I've been recruiting a lot of units. Well, I've been starting to recruit a lot of units in the east. Alright, I might have to bring these guys out of um, range mode just so I can run in and fight because they don't seem to be firing much. Oh, I'm good, damn it. Yep, yep, they're firing now. I heard the general's little thought. Oh, they're on the move. Three, something changes in the course of battle, but the defeat seems almost certain. No, we'll actually start recording this at uh, one point, and then I decided now I'm going to upload that because I accidentally stopped recording. Um, this was days ago. But I remember, you know, I did this battle, it was a different map, but I did this battle and I, it was against the same army, and yet I killed their general and I was winning, so, I don't know. They're routing. They are routing. They're broken. Oh, I switched to melee. Um. Oh god, Gimli is not in the best way. Probably a fresh unit. Mm. 
me, yeah, allies kill 35%, enemy kill 57. So, it's actually going our way in a sense. But it looks like I'm about to lose Gimli, so I'm just going to pull him out. Even though he's completely surrounded by enemies, so... Oh dear. Who escaped? Oh, there's no woman. No, is that no woman? Yes, it's no woman. He is somewhere. Come on, get out. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yeah, I'm winning. Again. Yeah, I've got him out. Good, good. Now I can run him back in. These are all going to come back, but doesn't matter. So many bodies. <laughs> Axes hitting these guys. Oh, if I can get their general, then that is really going to affect me. Yeah, I killed 62%. Well, I'm 1% from losing half my army. But, you know, it's worth it. They're routing, yes. Only half our force remains. Well, that was eventful. Economy-wise, I've done the fix. Look how our but, oh, over. yes! It is time to press the oh. attack. Huzzah, I won. Look at all these routing units. It, yeah, I'll I'm still in a pretty bad fix economy wise, any suggestions would be fine. I seem to be doing okay, despite having minus 4,000 something gold and it's getting worse every, um, every turn. But you know... Try and inflict as much damage as possible at the moment. Knights of England campaign, I've only done one turn. I lost my king. But, you know, England is still the dominant, well, the Norman England is still the dominant faction in the British Isles. Even though they're completely surrounded and outnumbered. But, you know, they're English. I mean, they're Normans. There's a big debate who the English are. Normans and Saxons are both English. Normans are not French. Um, we are victorious. You know, Our soldiers have fought and died well. I didn't have a chance to play as Saxons, I just chose English and... Yeah. Hmm. 
ransom, I've got myself some money. Glory and honor. <laughs> Next to take that. <laughs> Next to take that village. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just gonna fall back and regroup. Oh, I've got 700 profit. That's good, that's good. Gimli is, of course, an aspiring commander. Who could have guessed? I have to get my revenge. Aye, closing on the enemy. Um. Aye, starting with the speech. I'm just gonna auto resolve because we already had a battle. It's gonna be my revenge. I need lost that much, dude. <laughs> How's all I finally taken the settlement from my first episode? Now, I usually occupy, but I'm going to be cruel here and exterminate them. Kill the orc filth. <laughs> don't know you don't even know why they're in dance halls anyway. Yeah, the more I expand, the more I'm just going to get more money. Then I can actually start building stuff. Um, I'm probably going to... Well, I'm going to pull these out of enemy... Enemy territory, just for now. Um... I don't know how long this episode was, it seems shorter to me, but it was still pretty eventful. Nice battle by Gimli the Brave here. Um, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, I'm just going to say this again. Uh, sorry, it's just my cat. Freak me out. Subscribe for more videos if you want to. Feel free to comment because I need constructive criticism. If you don't know what that means, Google it. It means no hating, pretty much. It means, you know, criticism, that will help you improve. There aren't usually hates, but... I uh, was speaking on the forums, some idiots don't seem to know what that is. Anyway, um... Like as well, rate. That should help out too. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching, guys. See you next time.